Good morning, Mr. Chairman and members. Um, I'm Jean Ryle, and I'm here to testify today on behalf of the American Wind Energy Association, OWEA. Um, OWEA is testifying. I'm sorry, your pos position on the bill? Oh, OWEA is testifying in opposition okay, to the bill. You testify in opposition. Thank you. OWEA is a national trade association representing 1,000 member companies and more than 114,000 jobs across the U.S. economy. Our members include global energy leaders and manufacturers and developers of energy-related products and services. AWEA supports the innovative ERCOT energy-only market design. The ERCOT market, like all markets in the U.S., is moving through a transition to cleaner, lower cost, and more flexible generation resources. This is good for consumers, and it demonstrates that wholesale competition has worked as intended. <clears throat> this trend began in the ERCOT market with the decision made by this legislature in 1995 to deregulate the wholesale market. By the late 1990s and early 2000s, long before there were extraordinarily low gas prices impacting the outcomes of the market, and long before there was any wind penetration in the market, newer, more efficient gas-fired plants displace older steam plants. In a competitive market, newer, cleaner generation technologies always have the potential to replace older technologies. Every type of energy today receives some sort of subsidy. There are dozens of federal tax incentives and benefits across energy technologies. While these subsidies provide benefits, they also lead to innovative technology developments. They can also cause price distortions in the energy market. Senate Bill 2232 proposes to study the effects of renewable energies, singling out one particular source of energy, like wind, while ignoring the reality of all other energy sources that are also subsidized at the federal level. For this reason, it would be impossible to fully understand the impact of one subsidy on the market without studying them all. In previous testimony on this bill, there's been discussion regarding negative prices and attributing those solely to wind. I think it's important to note relevant comments made by those charged with overseeing the structure and the function of the market. Um, the independent market monitor, whose job it is to conduct um, reviews of the market uh, that and evaluate efficiency or distortions in the market has stated, and this is a quote, I would suggest that negative prices is not necessarily a bad wind thing. You can't just blame that on wind. There are situations in which big coal units or nuclear units or big combined cycle units associated with the additional with industrial units that will pay to stay online. This results in negative prices and has nothing to do with wind. Chairman Destel. <clears throat> If, if, if I understand, and I guess we talked to Chairman King if he's going to carry this in the House, that you, you're really not opposed to studying this, the issue of subsidies on pricing, but do you think you should study subsidies throughout the energy sector on prices, not just pick out the wind energy? That's correct. This is a very sophisticated, successful energy market. It's fully integrated. And to avoid unintended consequences of singling out one type of commodity, it's important to look at the aspects of subsidies across the board and the consequences of having subsidies. Well, I mean, I can understand that because if, if you study just one facet and you say, okay, you take Way the subsidies from wind and, and the effect that that has and not consider subsidies on others is probably going to be patently unfair to the wind industry as, as if it's being propped up and nobody else is getting any assistance. Well, and that's true. And also, we have to keep in mind that consumers ultimately pay the price for the market. <clears throat> and it's important to understand how things are integrated from a standpoint of Anything, you know, studied in a singular outcome is not going to represent an integrated fix. And consumers will bear the cost of, we've had that happen in the market before where there's one Band-Aid on top of another. So if we're going to do a study, we would love to see a study that encompasses all subsidies and the impacts 
of subsidies and the benefits of the different technologies we've gained um, <coughs> from all types of generation because of the subsidies that have been around our market for a couple hundred years.